And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Dark and Ran. Cut, cut, cutting their way through Project Overlord. And Can cleaning up Cerberus' mess again. Hello, dead body. Hello, other dead body. Hello. Hello, Thor. You can say hello to everything here. Maybe. Hello, machinity. Interesting place for an audio log. Yeah, that's a bit worrying. The door is locked. Mm -hmm. That one, it seems. It's just messing with the controls. This place isn't creepy at all. Ooh, it's just like doors shutting and locking themselves, one door opening a different door. It's just like them, like a kid or something. <laughs> So what you're getting at is, is the Lucy man's fault. Hey Ran, you remember what uh, the doctor said when we first got here? That he volunteered? Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound much like a volunteer anymore, does it? Mm-hmm. But it also sounds like the Lucy man pressured him into it. Well, of course. Resetting elevator. Arriving at level two. What's that? Arriving at level five. Ah. Level three. Uh -huh. It adds three. This resets it. This adds two. Arriving at level seven. And it looks like we have guests. Of course we don't. Maybe he's just upset that we're getting one of his friends. I think there's more to it than that at this point. Arriving at level six. Yeah, things can be fiscally this way. Hey, let's go. No, 
No, you didn't. This Morning. might be useful. Decelerator offline. Serious injury may occur. A little late there, Rex. Wait, what did Rex say? Uh, it's a figure of speech. It said, it said decelerator online. Offline. In other words, the thing that slows down the elevator. Yeah, but that, that wasn't Rex. Rex isn't even here. It's a figure of speech. <laughs> oh, that's trippy. Didn't even think you could move to this place like that, but okay. You can't. Get ready. I wouldn't be surprised if this button summoned a reaver. I mean, I'd be slightly surprised. Cybernetics? Yep. So uh, now he's trying to show us it first. No, it's not as unintelligible anymore, is it? Mm hmm. But it's kind of inside us now. It would, it would be surprised if it was something. Yes, as a matter of fact, we are seeing what's what, what really went on. David, <laughs> I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory, cross-referencing the meaning as a snap. He's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. Well, you should have looked better. It definitely wasn't comfortable around here, to say the least. That's an understatement. Okay, he didn't want to be here at all to begin with. It was here. Not 
sure. Maybe they didn't have anyone else to take care of him. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't make sense. Nobody's nobody's gonna ask any questions like how are these credits gonna translate in, back into, you know. <laughs> I mean you're probably like actually they're just saying things differently. Yeah, probably. Somehow. Like you're going through actual hell waste, you're just having an overlay on top of it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, in hindsight, I probably already knew that, and I'm just overthinking it at this point. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I need this, yeah, sure, I need this. Sure thing, yeah. like, it, I mean, you did actually walk out of the room and uh, yeah. to go back behind. That's a problem. Why can't anything ever be simple, right? What do we got? Yeah, I just don't get uh, unsurprisingly rather heavy. Especially the talent around rocket launchers. Go figure, right? Alright. He's really fixated on two specific numbers, I mean... Getting no, curious about how relevant they might be to something else. Bigger gun. That's how they connected him? It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broke up failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition? What 
I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please make it stop. Absolutely not. I've he seen did. enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! Really, bitch. You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Yeah, what's it gonna do? Wonderful nightmare fuel. <coughs> Rogue VI was successfully shut down, but a test subject was taken to a non Cerberus facility for care. While this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, Dr. Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling the Geth. Safer. Yep. We'll be the illusive, man. Ever the pragmatist, even to the extreme. Mm-hmm. Surprised he, do he doesn't have anything to say about that. I know, right? I'd certainly like to give him a piece of memory. <coughs> Actually, he does. Shepard, I understand yeah, you've taken no, Doctor... we can answer. Yeah. I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a, breath a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll likely never find another individual with David's unique talents. Though your decision is understandable, it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. Spam. <laughs> Move to spam folder. Yeah, that's... Yeah, let's just... Let's just not. Yeah, that was... Uh... That, that's a case closed, and let's leave it there. You so we'll have a better life now. <coughs> yeah. Can only hope for him. We have used half our fuel. Thank you, Edie. <coughs> right. What's left to do? That's plot. That's actually the next thing we'd need to do before helping Tally. So, since that's going to trigger a long chain of events and can I can even fuck that up, let's go ahead and handle Liara's deal. Yeah. I swear. <coughs> so. It can't possibly be as well as what we just saw. So. Oh, no, it's not. Shadow Broker Intel. The Shepherd from Cerberus Information Processing. We are aware that your old friend Dr. Li well, Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the broker's past work for the collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. Fair enough. Well then, let's get going. Omega, just with fancy shoes. Let's bring some yep. familiar faces. Excellent idea. <laughs> I do wish you could move a bit faster. The council thought the blast Though at the very least, 
at least the um, non-combat areas are, you know, smaller. Yeah, like, if nothing else, it's better than the first game. Yeah. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. No, you don't. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Are you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. I think her model's a bit bugged, though. Just a bit. Oh, hey, never know. Sounds like they were just playing a game or something. No, it's more like stock marketing. Um, yeah, as you might have noticed, it actually kind of pays to run back and forth in areas. Or mm -hmm. come in and leave to hear more dialogue. Also, uh, that's strangely on topic. What? It's just been a couple of days since the stock market. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Sorry, Pei. Game stonks. Let's leave it at that. Shepard, yeah. It's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the shadow broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between shadow broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and. It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you hmm. rescued me? Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed, or... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Yeah. And a friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. I'm going to guess that the visit can go very differently if you've already romanced Liara in the first game. I mean, just when you first visit her, it goes different. Instead of, you know, just running up and giving you a hug, she actually runs up and gives you a kiss. Fair enough. You know, where the... Somewhere around here, there's a Corian who is a bit over her head. And you're, supposed to, and you're supposed to be able to help her out, but I... Don't actually know the, where the fuck she is anymore. You'll never believe what happened. I've got the data. Don't ask, just call it a gift. Oh. <laughs> where the fuck? Where the fuck's that damn Corian? All users of Coral's brand medical radiation systems are asked to continue treatment. Oh, fast, daddy. I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. 
All the dangers are right there on the package. It's the okay, package. listen, give Fax a full refund, do you hear me? He knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now, and then get your ass someplace safe. <laughs> oh my. That's hey, which one was that? Huh? Which one was for that? Uh, that was when we were recruiting the Justicar and we found some interesting intel. Uh, and, and passed it along. <laughs> yeah. And then when we next time we came back, there was a polite Krogan uh, telling us thank you. Alright. Yeah, he even said, have a nice day. Which we found kind of funny. Yeah, I just hadn't made the connection between the things happening. Yeah. Oh well. Now I have. So oh, let's go see the let's go see Lara's new digs. And so those trace samples and get them back to the lab. It's a crime scene. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end, switching to a coded relay. What's going on? Hello, blue sons. That's not a blue sun. This area is sealed off. Oh. Please step That's the back, Spectre sir. emblem on sealed her up? shoulder. Why? Um. Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. I couldn't you see the full logo yeah. before. You can't do that. Already done. <laughs> she suspected she can. <laughs> the rest of them were just like, okay, whatever. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A specter. Oh. Stream, stream post? No, the game just crashed.